here we're going to show you how calculated tests work. You start by creating a new test. Give it a name. You're going to click on the calculated test button here. Select OK. You're going to find the unit of measurements. In this case, it's watt per kilo. Select OK. Uh, first, you should click on how to write formulas here. That will take you to this website where we explain how you put in the formulas and so on. Uh, if you have any specific cases here, you should contact us at support.sightlands.sports.com and we can help you out. But then you're going to start by using finding your variables. Uh, and I'm going to find peak power and then I'm going to find body weight. Select OK. Uh, then I have that here. Then I'm going to divide peak power with body weight. So I'm going to do A divided with B. And it's just 1 here because it's just divided by 10 by 10. But if I put in the right measurements here, I'm going to get the calculation up here automatically. Another thing, you if you have these tests done on different days, for example, uh, you might want to set this up so it looks back the days before it, so you'll be able to find both of these tests to be able to add them here. And remember, we also added this option into the, in the combined tests option also, so this is the same. And then you have the color ranges like normally here, uh, so you can just set this up. Here I'm going to show you how you can create a test template uh, from XPS when you want to import test to XPS from uh, Excel, for example. So let's check all athletes here. Now I'm going to click Add Test Results and I'm going to generate test import template. I'm going to select the tests that I'm going to use. Uh, I want to have body weight, height, and then I want uh, vertical power. Percent. For example, uh, you have a default date up here. You can change that if it's taken on a different day. Then you just select OK here. Uh, easiest way to select a comma factor here. You select OK. You save it on your computer. Then you just open the CSV file with Excel uh, or numbers. But then you have the columns here. All you have to do now is fill in the relevant information. Uh, and then when you want to import it back, you just copy paste all the cells here. Go to add test results and then you would just go import from spreadsheet and do the copy. Here I want to show you two different ways of exporting uh, from advanced statistics. Uh, uh, so let's say I select something here. Export these numbers here. So I'm going to execute query here. Open this up and I get a lot of numbers in here. So let's say I want to have these numbers into an Excel also. Uh, then I can just mark them like this. And then I can go up here and I can say copy to clipboard. And this is how it would look like. Okay, uh, but you could also do the same thing. You can also go in here and select copy to clipboard regular mode, select the tab, select OK, go in here, copy paste, and now you've just flipped the axis. So you have these two different possibilities to export from advanced statistics.